In today's video, I'm on the Pit Boss 1600 and I'm doing some brisket and baby back ribs for its first cook. Hey, this is Ricer from Dead Broke Barbecue, Wisconsin, and welcome back to the channel. But if you're new here, we try to help you enhance and amplify your backyard barbecue fun. Now, baby Huey did pretty dang good, but I'm hoping his PID gets some neuroplasticity and learns what he's supposed to know. So grab a couple briskets and a pack of baby back ribs, Nate. We're going to amplify some backyard barbecue fun. Now this video isn't really about the cook itself. We're only concentrating on how the Pit Boss Pro Series 1600 actually does. I'm actually cooking the two briskets and the three racks of baby back ribs for a party tomorrow. And I thought this is a perfect time to put baby Huey through the ropes. I trimmed up these briskets backyard style and the baby backs, they already removed the membrane. So all I had to do is get out the knife and cut off the excess that's gonna burn off anyways. And so I don't have to answer a bunch of questions about what type of seasonings and rubs I used. On the two briskets, I used some Suckle Busters, SPG, and Texas brisket rub, and I topped them off with some Uncle Steve's competition cow powder. The baby backs, I used Tailgater's party rub, and topped it off with a little bit of Sugar Daddy from Suckle Busters. I'm putting all this protein right back in the fridge, and I'll see you out by the Pro Series 1600 bright and early in the morning. I might be a little tired tomorrow because I got to get up at 4 a.m. Oof. It's five in the morning. It's time to get baby Huey fired up. Press the power button on, and then we'll open up the lid and let all the white smoke out of it, and let it start to preheat. I can already hear the plinking and the plunks already. Good sign. This is the white smoke that I'm talking about. Make sure it gets all out of the chamber, and then just close up the lid and let it preheat a little bit. It's burning clean, and I hear that afterburner starting to kick in. Close up the lid and we'll just let it preheat for about 10 minutes. We preheated for about 10 minutes. Now let's just go ahead and make sure that we're on smoke. Yep, we're on smoke, so we'll let that go. Open up the lid and get the briskets in. I always take a wood chunk and get it domed up a little bit. This helps so you don't get any pooling on top of that brisket, so you get a little bit better bark. Just kind of dome it a little. And I'll do the same thing with this one. Get that wood chunk right about here. And the other one we can kind of put right like that. There certainly is a lot of room in Baby Huey. That's two 17 pound briskets. I'm gonna close up the lid and set a timer for 30 minutes. At first, I just want these briskets to start out on the smoke setting. 30 minute timer went off. Now, I'm gonna turn this Pit Boss 1600 up to 250 degrees. Now, I do like this controller. Pretty simple to operate. Just turn her up. Hit her again, now she's set. And just for a reference, I'm gonna put in my signals. Open this up and we'll get that through. And I'm gonna put it right in the center above the fire pot. And now I'm just gonna monitor these briskets for about three hours. I'll bring you back when I put in some probes. So I'm three and a half hours into the brisket part of this cook. Let's go ahead and check out the temperatures and we'll see how they're holding throughout the chamber. So we've been running right around 220 degrees on the ambient temperature part of the controller on the pit boss. And it's been pretty much in that same realm on my signals. And this is how I have my probe set up in the chamber right now. I have rotated these briskets once. And I'm gonna rotate them again and put in some probes. Grab this one. And I'm just gonna slide this one down here. Wood chunks are getting a little stuck, but I wanted to turn it around. And we'll put this one right about here. Now I can slide this one back over a little bit. Get my probe right in the center again. Stick this probe right through the thicker part of the flat. And I'll just do the same thing on this one. 
right about there is good. I'm gonna close up the lid and I'm gonna set a timer just for an hour and I'm gonna come back out here because those briskets are getting a little bit dry and we'll spritz them up. But again, this isn't about the cook. This is more about how this cooker is performing. You can see that I have the pit boss set at 250 and we've been running about 30 degrees lower than the actual setting on that controller. So I'm just gonna keep on monitoring this cook and if I have to turn it up because we gotta get going to that party, I'll just turn it up to 300 degrees and we'll finish it off at that temp. I'm five and a half hours into this cook and the pit boss, it's running pretty steady. It's still running about 20 degrees lower than that 250 degrees that I have it set at, but I'm gonna crank this pit up to 300 degrees now once we're putting these ribs in. Open up the lid and I'm gonna take this big one swap it with this smaller one and then I'm gonna rotate this brisket and we're gonna just put this one here we don't need these wood chunks anymore these briskets have already actually formed up well we'll get this one right here this rack right here and let's get this last rack right here we have a full bottom rack for sure I'm just gonna get these a little bit so I can get a little space in between these That'll work and like usual, I'll set a timer for another hour. I'm planning on rotating these ribs from left to right because on the left side of this pit so far, it is running about 10 to 15 degrees cooler. I'm seven hours into this cooking. Now let's get these briskets in some foil. Oh yeah, getting some good bark. They're still stiff, obviously, but there's a little wiggle in it. It's good but I am happy with the color on these briskets for sure. That's looking pretty good. Pull this probe out of here for now. Whoops, there went my ambient temperature probe too. Get this one off, but oh yeah, nice and juicy. And let's get the probe out of this one. Get this one out too, but oh yeah. Good time to wrap it. So next time you see me, the next time you see me, we'll check out some tenderness on these briskets. Plus, we might as well check and see how our ribs are doing. I'm 10 hours into this cook and the briskets are reading about 209, 210 degrees. And remember, I'm running them hot and fast now. So you're gonna run those briskets up a little bit higher so they can get nice and tender. But let's go ahead and check and see how they're doing. Okay, let's open this up. I'll check her out. Oh, it's pretty close. Good down here. Oh yeah, I think I, we're at about 108, 109 here. A little bit of pullback still, but nothing too bad. Probably run it for another degree, and then I think I'm gonna pull it. Let's see what this looks like. Oh yeah, this one I can tell. This one's like, peanut butter for sure. These ribs are looking really good. I like the color. Starting to get some pullback on a few of them. I'm probably gonna run these straight through, but I might have to wrap them right at the end. But once I get this brisket off, then I'll have a little bit more room and can space these out a little bit more. Just close this one back up. Get this one out. Now I probably won't be able to do a lot more filming because soon I have to start getting ready to leave for this party, but I'll bring you back when we pull these ribs off. These baby back ribs have taken five hours. I can almost guarantee you that they're done, but let's go ahead and check them out. Now I definitely love the color on these. They're looking good. I can tell you right now from just touching them, these are really weak. I don't even want to pick them up or they're going to break, but Oh yeah, just from, yeah, oh, that one's starting to crack already. This one too, so we're gonna call these done no matter what. They certainly are nice and flexy though, and that's what I'm always looking for. Now we can just close up our lid, turn the power off. Just simply hit the button, and it goes into that shutdown mode. So for baby Huey's first voyage, I say it went pretty good. It certainly held temperatures very well, but I was running a little bit under what I was actually setting the controller at. I'll go ahead and check in with Pit Boss and see what they have to say, and I'll let you know later in a future video if they have any answers of why my controller has kind of been running a little bit off 
and it's taking a little bit longer to heat up. I have one of my cameras already packed up and ready to go to the party so we can get some me slicing up that brisket and cutting off some of them bones on those baby back ribs. Enjoy the B-roll and the obnoxious music. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and become a subscriber. Turn on that notification bell because you don't want to miss my next video. I know you don't, especially on this Pit Boss Pro Series 1600. Come on, let's face it. It's a new pit and everybody wants to know how it does. But I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video. I'm gonna leave. We're gonna get some B-roll here. You can stop that one? Yeah, I look like Rudolph. <laughs> like... Yeah, well. I'll grab this one, grab the door and you come back and I'll grab the door for you, hurry. Oh, we gotta press the pauses on all these or be running all day.